Hello, Chula Vista, and welcome back to Innovation Live. My name is Mr. Bruder. You may not recognize my face, but you might recognize my voice from being a moderator on various live events in the past. Today, I'm filling in for Mrs. Hughes from the Energy Station. If you don't already know, the Energy Station is one of a family of career-themed makerspaces here in Chula Vista Elementary School District. It's located at the south branch of the Chula Vista Public Library. Our focus here is to help students like you connect their strengths and their interests with potential careers in the clean energy industry and to educate our students about the value of using renewable energy sources. With that said, I'd like to take a moment to thank all of our energy station partners that you see on the screen here. The Chula Vista Public Library, the City of Chula Vista, San Diego Gas and Electric, the International Brotherhood of Electrical Workers Local 569 and the National Electrical Contractors Association, who all help keep our program going. Before we get started, though, I'd like to take a quick moment to wish all of the teachers out there a happy National Teacher Appreciation Week for all that you do for our students every single day of the school year. Thank you so much. I'd also like to extend an extra special thank you to our innovation team members who bring you these wonderful live events all throughout the year. Again, happy National Teacher Appreciation Week. Let's go ahead and get started. So today's live event is Rainbow Science, Building a Spectroscope. I love that we have this topic today because it's going to feature something I love about the weather and the spring, and that's the sun. We're going to be learning about how light works and how you can see the different parts, yes, parts of light, using some simple recycled objects like you see in the screen. Behind the scenes, my friend Mr. Minjares and Coach Ramirez are here with me to moderate the chat and take your questions. Then at the end, we'll have our live Kahoot game. So let's get started. Well, before we get started, let's talk about what exactly a spectroscope is. Let's start with the word spectroscope. Here's a fun way to figure out its meaning and even try with other words. From the previous slide, you could probably tell that it is a tool of some kind. Exactly what kind of tool? Well, that's in the name. Many of the words in the English language use pieces and or parts of words from other languages, some of which are thousands of years old. For example, if I break up the word spectroscope, the word is made up of two different parts. The first part, spectro, is Latin and it means image. The second part, scope, literally means to see, look at, or observe. So if you put the two parts together, a spectroscope is a tool to observe images. For our build, our spectroscope is going to be observing light. So with that said, here's question number one that we have for you. Now that you've taken apart the word spectroscope, I bet you're thinking of all kinds of other words and tools that have scope in them. If you can think of a few, we would love to hear about them. As a matter of fact, there are a few clues on the slide to help get, get you get started. This leads to our first question. Can you think of other tools that have the root scope in them? What do they do? I look forward to hearing about all of the words that you come up with. Now, let's go back to that question that we shared earlier. Can you think of other tools that have the root scope in them? Mr. Minjares, do you have some thoughts to share with us? Hello, Mr. Bruder. Yes, we do have some thoughts from our classes and our students who are paying attention to today's Innovation Live event. Uh, we wanna give a shout out to Olivia, fifth grader at Hilltop. Olivia chimed in right away and said another a word that has scope in it is microscope. And so we also want to give a shout out to Mason and Sam who echoed that and said, yes, microscope would be one of the words that we want to put here for question number one. Um, in Mrs. Vinland's class, they also mentioned a stethoscope as well as a microscope. They're getting some great responses there, uh, but we're not done yet. Uh, Faith is uh, somebody who's watching today and she said, how about telescope? And immediately Chase and Kind in and said he likes telescopes. So a lot of scopes are out there, Mr. Bruder. Awesome. 
Thanks for sharing, Mr. Mahara. Speaking of sharing, great responses. Question number two. What are some interesting new things that you learned from the video that we watched together? There were a bunch of great pieces of information. These pictures might be a little hint. Put your thoughts in the Q&A and we will share them out a little later. By the way, they might even help us get ready for the, some of the questions in the Hoot game, Kahoot game a little later. Hint, hint. All right. One more thing before we move forward with building our spectroscope. I'd like to share with you a little bit about a career that's related to using the light from the sun, and that is a solar energy systems engineer. Solar energy system engineers are engineers who analyze and study the sun and its energy, and then try to design ways to use the sun's energy safely and efficiently using solar panels, or sometimes used at heat at home more efficiently. Now, if you are an upper grade student, you might be familiar with the RIASEC. These engineers are realistic and investigative, which means they enjoy hands-on activities and solving complex problems. You might also see that a, to be a solar energy systems engineer, you need a Lexile of about 1395. Speaking of engineering, let's dive into the engineering design process for this build. Our problem, or want and need is that we need a tool that will help us break a single beam of white light into several different colors. Our solution, our engineering challenge, we're going to create a stethoscope, I'm sorry, not a stethoscope, a spectroscope that allows us to see the different colors of light. So for the first stage in the process, ask, let's think of what questions do we have? Go ahead and think of some along with me, please. My first question is, what materials could we use to build a spectroscope? Well, I know there were some that we asked you to collect ahead of time. Another question is, what is the best way to look at the sun safely? Because I know that it's not safe for my eyes to look directly in the sun. I'm sure you have a bunch of other great things that you were wondering about because all of you are amazing engineers and you're thinking about this challenge. All right, so now it's time for me to start imagining how I can build that spectroscope. To do this, I wanna think about what I know about other objects that are used to observe things. For example, I think one of you mentioned a microscope, a telescope, and some of those other tools that help you to see or observe things are often round and shaped like a cylinder. So I'm thinking that I can use something like that paper towel roll that we asked you to collect. Now, what about the ability to break up the white light into different colors of light? I know that you can use a prism, but I don't have one of those available. However, I do know that when I look at the back of a video game disc or CD or DVD, when I move it around in the light, it seems to break up the colors. So I'm thinking I might be able to use that like a prism. Now for my plan. I think we're finally ready for this stage where I add in the details for what I want to build, and then I identify the materials that I need to build it. So I wanna create a spe spectroscope, like the one you see at the top of the screen. So I will need all the materials listed here in the box. For example, I'll need a paper towel roll, even a gift wrap tube that you cut in two will work. Index cards, probably need at least two. You could probably get away with one though, be careful. An old CD or DVD doesn't have to be old, just as long as you don't mind using it for the project temporarily. Don't worry, you shouldn't get scratched. Some tape, and it, it can be scotch tape or clear tape like you see there, but it can also be painter's tape or duct tape, whatever you have available. And a pair of scissors. So with that said, it's time for me to switch over to my document camera so we can start building together. All right. So on my document camera here, you see the index cards, 
the paper towel roll, scissors, pencil. I know that wasn't on the list, but I'm guessing you probably have a pencil handy somewhere near you. And a CD or DVD. Now that you saw my materials, I'm going to go ahead and move them out of the way. And the first part that we're going to focus on is this paper towel roll. Now, the paper towel roll is a little longer than my screen here. So let me get some of these items out of the way a little bit better for you. The first step that I need to do is I'm going to take my paper towel roll and I'm going to go about a third of the way up. So if you're used to doing fractions, think about this in three pieces. I'm going to go about a third of the way. And what I need to do is put a slit in it here. This is eventually where the CD is going to go. And if you're familiar with angles, we're going to cut it at about a 45 degree angle. Now, if it's hard to cut, you may want to kind of squeeze your paper towel hole, uh, roll a little bit there, and it'll probably start to cut a little better. So you see, my slit there that I cut kind of looks like an upside down V. My next step is I'm going to turn the paper towel roll around and on the other side, I'm going to draw a little square. This is going to be my, my little uh, view area. So to make sure it's kind of in the same place, I'm holding my finger here and I'm going to draw a little rectangle. You don't have to draw the rectangle. But I'm going to draw a little rectangle here so I know that's where I want to cut. Again, it might be helpful to kind of pinch this a little bit to get your cut started. And there's no exact size this has to be. You just want it to be able to look through it. But you also don't want to have too much light coming into your spectroscope here. And feel free to turn the paper towel roll around. Kind of manipulate it to work best for you. And there I have my little viewer. So now I have this area cut and this area cut. My next step is I'm going to bring in one of those index cards. And I'm going to take this paper towel roll and I'm going to trace a circle around it. best as I can. There. Now it doesn't have to be a perfect circle, but do know that the goal of this circle, I'm going to cut it out and I'm going to put it on the end of my spectroscope. So I don't want any light to get into that area. So it's okay to cut on the outside of the lines. You probably don't want to cut on the inside of the lines because it'll, it'll leave gaps where the light will get through. I'm going to go ahead and cut this out. And again, it doesn't have to be a perfect cut. You'll see mine's not. Because the tape will kind of be our best friend for this. Now that I have my circle, I'm going to do one more thing to this before I move forward. To let the light in at the top of your spectroscope, we're going to put a little rectangle in this as well. So I draw my rectangle. And again, just like before, I might help to kind of bend your paper to get the cut started. There we go. Now I'm just going to cut out this little rectangle. Now that I can get my scissors in there. Be careful with your fingers around the scissors there. And there we go. I have the little rectangle cut out so that now I can tape it on. Now, important note here. The, near the bottom, we have the little viewing area and we have that slit there. What we also need to make sure of is that when we tape this, we're doing it on the opposite end. So I'm putting it on the top here. Okay. So I'm going to put that there like that. Now everyone can see it really closely. And you can probably see some gaps. So what I'm going to do is get my tape and tape around that there. All right. 
So again, it doesn't have to be perfect. We just want to make sure that no light is getting in. And make sure that tape keeps it down pretty well. And I think that should work. If you want to be extra careful, you can totally put tape all around it. Oh, now that I look, I see a gap where a light will come in. So I definitely need to cover that one. So I think I have all those areas filled in. You can look at yours if you think that there's an area where you need to cover up a, a little space where light can get in, go for it. I'm gonna try to cover up one last spot right here. And again, remember any kind of tape works for this. This is just the kind of tape that I had handy. All right, our final step is we're going to take that CD or DVD that you brought in. Oh, look, I can already see different colors of the light there. And I'm going to slide it in here. Now, what's important is to make sure that the shiny end, not the side that might have print or something on it, is facing up, which is where the blue tape is. So I'm going to slide this in here. It doesn't have to go too far in. It's a big disc, so it's going to stick out there. But I now have it all set up. Now that's the building part of my spectroscope. I'm going to switch back over to my camera here so that you can see me and how I would use the spectroscope. Give me one second. We see your camera now. Perfect. Now, if you're looking at this, you'll want to point the blue part, or at least where I put my blue tape up, and I can look through the viewing part. Now, we're inside in a classroom right now, most likely, so we're not going to see the natural sunlight to be able to see it as well, but when you go outside, it should work for you. Now, keep in mind, we don't want direct sunlight to be bouncing off of that into our eyes, not good for our eyes, so we don't want to hold it perfectly straight up. You might want to angle it a bit. And what you should be able to see is the different colors of the spectrum. And that's our build. So, what would you do to improve your design? All right, that's our final question. I think something I would definitely want to do is decorate it. Maybe add some color or drawings to it. You could paint it. Um, I also think that specifically for mine, I might cut the viewing hole in a little bit different position. I don't know if you can see here, but it, mine's not perfectly like in the middle, so I might move it over a little bit so I can see better. How about you? What would you do to improve your design? I look forward to hearing your thoughts in the Q&A. All right, it's time for our live Kahoot game. Remember to play you will need to open another window, not a tab, so you can still hear me, and then you'll see the questions and answer buttons on the other window. Here's the game pin, 293-5322. Our moderators are dropping that in the chat as well, and I'm going to switch over to my Kahoot screen while all of you log in. And while we're waiting for our friends to log in and for me to switch over, I'm wondering if we have some thoughts from our viewers, Mr. Menjares, about how they would, well, actually our second question was about the video. Any pieces of information that they learned from the video or what they would do to improve their design? Mr. Menjares, what do we have? All right, Mr. Bruder. Uh, let's go first with that question about what did the viewers learn from the video and uh, there were lots of lessons pulled from that segment uh, especially that white light is made up of several different colors and thanks to diego that we know that those white light um, reflects colors contain violet 
indigo, blue, green, yellow, orange, and red. And I'm sure you'll see some of those colors represented in our Kahoot game names coming up here pretty soon. Um, also, Sam mentioned that if you put a glass pyramid in light, you'll create a rainbow. So may want to try that at some point uh, this weekend. Olivia chimed in and said that she learned that you can make a rainbow with some at-home supplies. And speaking of the at-home supplies, uh, there was a few comments here that that build was a little quick. And so we want to encourage folks who maybe didn't have the time to go through and, and complete all of it to take a little time later, later today and uh, go back to their build and really work on that so that they can go outside and see the light re reflected as we're talking about here today. Mr. Menhart, thanks for sharing. For our friends that uh, said that it went a little quick, a couple options if you want to watch that again. We always put them on our YouTube channel, but that takes a, a couple of days for that to get going. You can use this same link that you used to join today as soon as we're done and watch a replay of it. So if you want to kind of fast forward to the spot where you wanted to catch up on. So Mr. Menhire, is one of the things that I heard earlier when people were, um, when we were watching the video that I thought was really interesting was how no two people see the same rainbow because of the way that the light reflects off the raindrops because if you're standing in a different angle you're seeing a different raindrop and you're seeing the the colors of the rainbow at a different angle i thought that was pretty cool that is very very cool mr bruder all right i think we're ready to i know we have some people joining in still but i think we're ready to get our kahoot game started here we go. One, and here we go. What is a spectroscope? Red triangle, a tool to observe light with. Yellow circle, a tool to see rainbows with. Blue diamond, a tool to see small objects with. Or green square, a tool to listen to hearts with. Hmm. See a bunch of answers coming in. Read that one more time. Is it red triangle, a tool to observe light with? Yellow circle, a tool to see rainbows with. Blue diamond, a tool to see small objects with. Or green square, a tool to listen to hearts with. I have about 15 seconds left. I think I might know the answer as well. 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. What are we thinking? It looks like it was a debate between red triangle and yellow circle, but it is specifically a tool to observe light with. Although we did see the colors of the rainbow through there. Let's see who's on top of the scoreboard. Zany Otter. Joyful Snail, a close second. Question two. All the colors of the rainbow come from this color light. All the colors of the rainbow come from this color light. Is it red triangle, black light? Is it yellow circle, glow in the dark light? Is it blue diamond, white light, or green square, neon light? Which one is it? Looks like a bunch of answers are in. All the colors of the rainbow come from this color light. Is it red triangle, black light, yellow circle, glow in the dark light, blue diamond, white light, Green square, neon light. About 10 seconds left to answer. Five, four, three, two, one. And looks like people are saying mostly white light, and that is correct. Let's see, Funny Bobcat jumped up 15 places, Zany Otter's on top, and Joyful Snails just a few points behind there. 
Question number three. The longest wavelength of color is red triangle red, yellow circle orange, blue diamond blue, green square green. The longest wavelength of color is. And think about the picture that we showed from the video. It had all the seven different possible colors. And it went from one side to the other side. Is it red triangle? Red? Is it yellow circle orange? Is it blue diamond blue? Or is it green square? Green. There's also some cool acronyms that you can learn to help you remember all the different colors. All right, five, four, three, two, one. What do we have? A close debate between red and orange, or I'm sorry, red and blue. Answer is actually red. All right, let's see what our scoreboard looks like. Hero Fox jumped up 17 places. Zany Otter is in the lead. Fearless Yak, Green Rabbit, Brave Dolphin, and Bounce Gator all on the scoreboard. Number four. A solar energy systems engineer helps analyze sunlight for homes, design plans to use solar panels, find safe ways to use sunlight, or all of the above. Remember, we shared this information when we talked about the career that we were taking on today. So a solar energy systems engineer helps red triangle analyze sunlight for homes, yellow circle design plans to use solar panels, blue diamond find safe ways to use sunlight, or green square all of the above. Which one do you think it is? have about 15 seconds left now remember if you're interested in this career it's a realistic and investigative career so these people like to work with their hands and solve complex problems and it looks like most people said green all of the above which is correct let's see what our scoreboard looks like green rabbits jump to the top Fearless Yak, Balanced Gator, Brave Dolphin, and Magic Wallaby are not too far behind. Looks like three players just hit an answer streak of three in a row, too. All right, on to our final question. Question number five. The CD or DVD that we used breaks up light just like red triangle, a telescope, yellow circle, a prism, Blue diamond, a light bulb, our green square, the ocean waves. Think about what we did earlier during our build and think about what we learned in the video and all of that. So, one more time. Red triangle. It breaks up light like a telescope. Yellow circle. It breaks up light like a prism. Blue diamond, it breaks up like, like a light bulb. Or green square, like the ocean waves. You don't have your answer in yet, get it in in the next few seconds. We're down to three, two, one. Let's see what people thought. Most people said a prism, and that is correct. All right, that was our final question. Let's see what the podium looks like. In third place, five out of five, Balanced Gator with 4,869 points. Fearless Yak in second. And on top of the leaderboard, we have Green Rabbit. Congratulations to our podium, as well as our runners-up, Brave something down there, and I think it was an elephant, maybe a dolphin. So congratulations, everyone. That was a great game. I'm going to go ahead and switch back over to our slides real quick here because there's a couple more things i would like to show you
All right. Like I said, great Kahoot game. If you're interested in doing more fun engineering activities, make sure to check us out on our YouTube channel, CVESD Innovation and Instruction. Our moderators are dropping the link into our, to our channel in the chat right now. Teachers and families, we invite you to follow us on social media and see what's new at the Energy Station. And remember, if you wanna go back and see a certain part of this one today, you can use the same link that you used to join. Speaking of fun engineering activities, I truly hope you enjoyed our event today and that you join us in two weeks again, this time for the Life Vest Challenge with our hydro station teacher, Mrs. Bystrack, as she leads us through exploring more about water safety. Join her online Friday, May 20th at 9 a.m. here in Microsoft Teams. Thank you for joining me, everyone, and we'll see you next time.